<clears throat> okay, so I wanted to do a quick review of the nice set that I built. Uh, I didn't want to buy a set from any manufacturer because I don't like all of their knives. Uh, so I wanted to build my own. And uh, I wanted to go over two knives in particular, and that would be the Global Sai Santoku 7.5 inch and the uh, Wusthof Classic Icon uh, Chef's Knife 8 inch. Um, because I, I haven't really seen any videos online except for those awkward silo ones. Uh, they're only like a minute long. And I uh, wanted to give you a better look. So uh, here is the uh, Global Sai uh, Santoku. Uh, it is a very, very good knife. It's uh, well made, sharp as hell, has good balance, as you can see. Um, I actually like this um, because on most Santokus that I've seen, uh, the, the uh, point, the tip, uh, kind of goes down more towards the uh, edge of the body. So I like how it kind of goes up at the tip, to me anyway. It's easier uh, to cut and use and, uh, you know, to get those uh, precise cuts. Uh, that you that you will want. Um, I have uh, a less expensive uh, Santoku. Uh, it's well, it's it's a cheap Santoku, uh, and the blade, the edge goes straight. So see how that goes up? It goes straight down, and uh, it doesn't really have the rocking edge, for lack of a better term. So. Uh, but it's it's got very good heft. It's sharp. It's not as sharp as the uh, a lot of the other Asian knives, the shuns. I don't know why, but you can definitely feel and hear it bite through whatever it's uh, slicing in. It is new, so uh, newer. But uh, it it holds an edge pretty well. Uh, I mean, it's not like some of the shuns where uh, you know it, it chips. Um, I haven't had that happen with this. So, uh, if you get a little bit better close up here, that way you can see. So it has a sort of Damascus going on. And it has a hammer, it's supposed to uh, help with. Uh, you know, less friction and vegetables and things uh, from sticking to the side of the knife really doesn't help. Uh, I haven't really noticed that big of a difference, but it's made in Japan, handmade, um, forged, and so it's overall it's a good knife. Um, if you get any kind of rusting, uh, rust spots on your knife, um, which you shouldn't, uh, if you take proper care of it, um, but if you get any kind of like spots on it at all, there's a product uh, that I got and it actually works really well. It's called uh, uh, Bartender's Friend, I believe, uh, but uh, it works really good. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the name of it, but it's a good product and it gets any kind of rust or spots off of it and makes it uh, look new. So. Uh, another thing is it goes very, very thin uh, from the handle to the blade. Uh, it starts off really thin and then it goes really, really thick up to the point. Um, I'm assuming that's for balance. I Again, I like it because it has a lot of heft to it. But uh, yeah, that's the uh, global side. And let's move on over to the Wusthof Classic Icon 8 inch chefs. Uh, this thing is a beast. It's extremely sharp. I want to say actually sharper than the uh, Global Sai. And about as sharp as the Shun uh, Classic. I'll show you in just a moment. But uh, this thing, I've accidentally uh, dropped it, hit the edge against the uh, uh, faucet, uh, 
it's I haven't noticed any kind of nicks or dings on the edge. Um, that's an extreme close up. It's pretty good. Uh, but I mean, as you can see, I've had this for some time, and I've used a honing stone on it a little bit. But other than that, this thing is uh, it's what every chef knife should be. It's a workhorse, and it's uh, it's 58 uh, Rockwell hardness. Um, and it's it's legit. I want to say this is my favorite all-around uh, knife. It, it cuts through anything, and it's a uh, it's a good knife. The handle, it's 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 got some good balance. The balance is really right about there. Um, the bolster where um, the other Asian knives, it doesn't really balance well. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but. Bounce is really about right there. So, uh, <clears throat> but it, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a good knife. Uh, I looked at the 10, uh, 10 inch, it bounces a little bit better, but uh, I mean, the 10 inch is just uh, it's a little long uh, for me. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, let's see if I can focus on that. Obviously, it's a full tang. It's a forged knife. So, what? Um, the reason I, I started getting into the higher quality knives is when I met my wife, she had a Martha Stewart uh, set of knives, and they were actual garbage, uh, junk. And we decided to buy a little bit better quality knife, so we went with the. Uh, Hankles and I found out those were stamped. They weren't even forged, but it's not a bad knife. It's just I want to get something that's going to last a long time. And uh, you know, I did uh, my homework and looked into uh, the different knives that I like. I, I use this one quite a bit. But, um, other than that, I got a lot of the shims. Uh, here's my shim honing steel. And that is not a sharpener, by the way. That is a homing steel. It's just to straighten out the metal. It does not sharpen your knife. Um, it's my Shin Classic, in inch chef's knife. Um, this is, it's not true Damascus. Um, that's uh, clad or Plated, if you will, uh, Damascus. But this knife, I can honestly say, is the sharpest knife uh, that I have ever used. The balance is insane on this knife. Check that out. Uh, it's a very, very good knife. It's a lot lighter, um, but uh, man, is this thing sharp. Uh, I have cut a tomato without touching it and sliced it. Uh, this thing is insane, surgical sharp. Um, other than that, it uh, does have the uh, tendency to chip sometimes. I just got this sharpened, but it will chip if you don't uh, take extra care of it. It's got the pack of wood handle and uh, what they call the deer uh, teardrop uh, shape. And it does feel very, very good. Um, other than that, I got the Shun uh, Classic Serrated Bread Knife. I actually really like that knife. Uh, you can use it for anything. Tomatoes, I mean, this thing is, is extremely sharp. I like the length on it. It's a very, very good knife. Um, got the uh, Wusthof Classic. Not the icon, but the uh, Wusthof Classic tomato knife for my wife. I never use this, but she likes it. So, not a lot I can say about that. And then I got the uh, Shun Classic um, utility uh, knife. I, uh, I gotta say, I, it's, I use this for uh, sushi and it works uh, pretty good. Um, again, Pack of wood handle. I want to say this is six inches, I believe, or five and a half. Um, it is a VG Mac. 
X, not the VG10. Uh, they say it's better than uh, the VG10, but uh, honestly, I'm not sure because I've never had the older shims with the VG10 uh, steel. So, um, let's see, we got one more to go over here. Uh, again, Wussoff uh, Classic. Uh, this is a paring knife. It's a wide paring knife, which I really, really like. I don't like the regular paring knives uh, because uh, it just seems too uh, too narrow for me. So I got the wide. It gives me a little bit more control. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, Wussoff is... Uh, I mean, I've never used Wussoff uh, before I got these and... I am thoroughly impressed with them. Uh, the edge retention stays sharp. Hone it in every once in a while, but yeah, I mean, uh, this is why I like building my own uh, set because you can pick and choose what knife uh, you get and what you're going to use, um, and uh, you're not throwing your money away for something that you're never going to use. So I got the uh, Shun block here that works I guess um, and this is just a cheaper I think it was a Wustoff Gourmet got this for my father-in-law to use because he's kind of rough on knives um, <laughs> so I got him this so he doesn't destroy uh, any of the other ones whenever you know uh, he comes over to visit and he uh, wants to cut up some fruit or something so but at any rate, um, I hope that that helps, gives you a little bit better picture. Again, I'm not a, you know, the uh, hardcore YouTube video guy or anything like that. Oh, one other thing. Um, this is the uh, What's Up Classic Icon 6. Um, this knife has actually been through hell and back. Um, this is uh, one of the first knives that I got. As you can see, it's been abused. Um, I actually went this out a couple of times, and uh, yeah, you can see it's pretty roughed up. But I had to get it uh, sharpened a couple of times, and uh, it's a beast. I love the Wussoff uh, uh, Classic Icons. I like the Icons better than the Classic. Why? Because... Uh, the bolster does not go all the way down to the blade. That annoys the crap out of me because if you try to sharpen it, you can't get back here. That bolster actually goes all the way down to about there. It's annoying as hell to me. Um, so, yeah, there it is. And I hope uh, you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave some comments. I'll try my best to uh, get to them if I have time. And thank you. <clears throat> okay, so I wanted to do a quick review of the nice set that I built. Uh, I didn't want to buy a set from any manufacturer because I don't like all of their knives. Uh, so I wanted to build my own. And uh, I wanted to go over team knives in particular, and that would be the Global Size Santoku 7.5 inch and the uh, Wusthof Classic Icon uh, Chef's Knife 8 inch. Um, because I, I haven't really seen any videos online except for those awkward silent ones uh, that are only like a minute long and uh, wanted to give you a better look. So uh, here is the uh, Global Sai uh, Santoku. Uh, it is a very very good knife. It's uh, well made, sharp as hell, has good balance as you can see. Um, I actually like this um, because on most Santokus that I've seen, uh, the, the uh, point, the tip, uh, kind of goes down more towards the uh, edge of the body. So I like how it kind of goes up at the tip 